Understanding your tennis level and what's realistic at your tennis level is going to be a really important part of helping you to improve and helping you to get better results on court in the short term because I find a lot of players have very unreasonable expectations about what's possible and it's not necessarily their fault because there are a lot of videos on YouTube that talk about crushing the ball like the professionals in three simple steps and making tennis out to be really easy so players think that they're going to go out on court and they're going to get a short forehand and they're going to be able to hit that short forehand for a winner but putting away short forehands or high forehands is a very high level skill. That's the sort of thing that you only really see from 5.0s and above. You know, depending what country you're from, that kind of scoring system might not mean too much, but that's kind of the North American scoring system. And a 5.0 player is a really good tennis player. They've got weapons, they've got big serve, big forehand. They can play aggressively off both sides. They can attack short balls. They can reliably, you know, hit aggressive shots and maintain consistency. That's the sort of level you need to get to, to, you know, properly put away those short balls because when the ball's down low firstly you have to read where the ball's going really quickly there's a lot of visual requirements to that you have to have good footwork to move to the ball to set up in the right position and then you have to have the skill level to be able to manipulate the racket head to get the spin to get the ball to go up over the net and dip into the court and that's a high level skill. So even at the 4.5 level, players aren't able to do that because if they were able to do that, they wouldn't be a 4.5 anymore. They'd be a 5.0. So if you're kind of below that, if you're a 4.0, you're a 3.5, you're a 3.0, it is unreasonable to expect that you can put those shots away on any sort of consistent basis. And I'm not saying this to be mean, I'm trying to kind of help you understand what's possible so you can manage your expectations and kind of change your shot selection. Because a lot of players come to me and they're just beating themselves up and they're like, oh man, I'm doing well, I get into a good point in a good position in, uh, in a point, I get that short ball and then I try and put it away and I miss and I'm, oh, I suck and I'm like, whoa, 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 you know, why, what makes you think that you should be able to do that and then they, you know, normally tell you why they think they should do it, but they're a couple, two, three levels below the sort of standard where that's going to be possible. So when you understand what's realistic at different levels, it changes your shot selection because on those short balls at lower levels, you shouldn't be trying to hit a winner because you don't have the ability to hit a winner. So trying to shot, trying to hit a shot that you don't have the ability to execute on a consistent basis is just poor decision making. You have to understand what your level is and develop the tactical awareness and the discipline to instead of going for that one in 10 shot with your skill level or even a three in 10 shot or even a four in 10 shot, unless it's a six out of 10 shot or above, you shouldn't be playing it in a match situation. But instead of playing that shot, you can now just take some pace off it, just guide the ball deep, follow the ball to the net, and now you're still in the point and potentially you're gonna put the volley away or win the point or at least make your opponent hit the ball as opposed to going for that three out of 10 shot, sending it sailing long, beating yourself up and getting in a negative cycle. So again, I wanted to make this video just to kind of ease some frustrations and kind of help you understand how to think about things at the level you're at, because this is also going to allow you to structure your practice in a way that's going to facilitate improvements. If you're at that 3-0, 3-5, 4-0 level, I'm not saying don't try and develop an attacking game style. Yes, definitely try and develop an attacking game style. Work on your technique. Try and become the best player that you can, but it takes time and those skills that we're talking about here are much higher level skills, so you've got to modify your tactical decisions uh, in the meantime until you improve your skill level. Okay, hopefully this has been useful for you. Uh, I've got another video that you might find uh, beneficial. It's gonna talk about how I overcame my fear of losing in tennis, because it's something that I really used to struggle with. It held me back a lot. It kind of relates to what we're talking about here, and I know a lot of other people struggle with it. So check that one out.